Hello everybody, it's Pai. I'm here from Niche Advice. I hope you're well. I'm now back from my trip, little trip to United States. Um, I have to say it was eye-opening. Every time I go back to the States, and I go there once or twice a year before the band. Obviously, I go there quite quite often. I've got my family there. Um, it's an eye-opening situation at the moment, what's happening with uh, inflation and the prices and the rise in, in costs, really. So we think here we're getting hit with a lot of things. You only have to go to America, especially in California, to find out how things have been so hiked up in the pricing, whether it's fuel, whether it's you know pint of milk, whether it's eggs, whether it's bread, whether it's fruit, whether it's flowers, whether it's fast food takeaway, whatever I basically did, it was a lot more expensive, and in, in fact, more expensive than London. And and we had a we had a dinner party, and one of our friends, uh, mutual friends, there. He lives in Tokyo, and he mentioned that you know he found um, the particular place in California was so much more expensive. And I was from London, obviously, and I said, "Well, God, it's expensive here." So it's it's different. Where we used to go to the states ten years ago, and it was a lot more cheaper. Everything was a lot more, um, you know, accessible. So um, it just shows that. What's, what we're going through is a global thing. Um, you know, you, you can blame politics, but unfortunately, um, the global pressures are being felt with everybody out there. You know, um, people were moaning uh, in the States because their petrol or gas prices went up, but they only import 3% of, you know, Russian oil. However, they've been hit, impacted, let alone us and, and, and Europe, where we've got a greater dependence on energy dependence on foreign countries so there's a lot of problems out there there's a lot of issues uh, that i think is just going to get worse uh, frankly um you know people say well this can't continue well guess what guys my parents and you know my parents are from iran and and that country has been going through 40 percent year on year inflation so it can happen it does happen in the world uh, and and people can well have to put up with it either way whether they're happy about it or not and i think unfortunately we're going to go through a first well, couple of years of you know quite turbulent times with inflation and prices going up i just can't see prices coming down at the moment i can't see gas coming down i can't see um you know electricity being produced quicker or, or more efficient um and i think that will have an impact and and there are greater dangers out there with you know china uh, and the slowdown potentially in china and obviously we've got the wars going on so there are some real issues challenging issues which will affect us and our finances and bring me nicely on to the subject of interest rates obviously we've seen the interest rates uh, change um, yesterday 0.75 I'm not surprised I did many videos on on the fact that I think interest rates were going to go up they had to go up and they will go up um, the consensus is when I speak to some of the lenders out that they believe that probably interest rates are probably going to sit around 2% mark in about a year, year and a half time. So um, I think we're going to see some further interest rate rises. Um, gradually, they'll probably make movements on that. But I think they will have to uh, raise things because inflation is just going out of control. Um, in terms of how that's going to affect us, guys, I've just literally, I mean... As I've, as I've returned from the States, I've got a wonderful bill here from the council, and they've pushed up my um, council tax now uh, by 4.99%. So one letter, 4.99, council tax has gone up, and in fact, I'm paying over £3,000 in council tax. So that's one letter. One letter, price hike. Then you've got the gas bill, you've got the electricity bill, you've got, the, you've got all the other bills, you've got your you know, finances, car insurance, you know, petrol, all of the bits and pieces. What that's going to do to mortgage affordability is, um, is not going to be great because essentially the lenders are taking these things into account. So that, you know, when you're putting your salary into an affordability calculator, they will assume that your council tax is going to be X amount. They will assume your utility bill is going to be that this amount. They will assume your car finance and your, your insurance and your national insurance and all the bits and pieces are going to be X amount. So um, this will affect affordability longer term. Okay. Now, what can be done about it? Well, lenders, you could, you could go, go with a lender that could be more generous with their affordability. Um, the norm out there in the market is four and a half times. I've done many videos with lenders doing five, five and a half times, even six times income. Now, there's give and take. Some lenders are really good in terms of rates um, for first time buyers, for example. Some of them are not so good. So they might give you the affordability, but they're not going to be on great on rates. You know, I, it's known, it's quite common that there are lenders that will go beyond five and a half times, six times income maybe, but they'll charge you double. 
So can you swallow that rate? You know, what's your plan? What's your long term plan? It's no point being a homeowner for two years. You know, uh, you've got to have a long term plan of achieving your goal. Um, in terms of uh, the biggest impact on the interest rate trends is, is a lot of people that are on tracker rates. People like me until last month, I had a, um, a, a Mortgage Express uh, uh, buy to let product. Mortgage Express went out of business many years ago, got taken over by Rosenka Mortgages. It was on a Bank of England base rate plus 7, 1.75 uh, tracker rate. So um, that did me very well while interest rates were low. However, interest rates are creeping up now. So I actually did a remortgage application uh, and uh, now it's going through legals whereby I'm fixing it for five years. So if you are on a tracker rate yourself, uh, please do speak to an independent mortgage broker. Some are like niche advice, but there are lots of other nice and wonderful mortgage brokers out there. Um, what you want to do is speak to them and make sure that, um, you know, it, it doesn't make sense for you to be on a tracker now. So there's a lot of lenders, you know, BM Solution, old tr tracker rates that used to be around. You know, people sat on those because they were very competitive when interest rates were very low. OK, however, interest rates start creeping up. So one and a half, two percent above base rate. Now it's quite pricey where you can fix in probably a lot cheaper on a five year fix. So it's worth looking at those options. It's not right for everybody. Sometimes it might be worth doing a product transfer rather than a remortgage. Sometimes it's worth doing nothing and paying the higher rate because the property is something wrong with the property, for example, or you don't want to go through the um, pain of remortgaging because of your circumstances has changed for the negative. But don't don't assume things, okay? Speak to an independent mortgage broker because there are lots of options. There is a reason why there's a hundred lenders out there. If 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 one lender could do it all, then well, frankly, I would be out of a job, but so would all of these other lenders. So there's a reason why these other lenders are out there, and there's a reason why brokers are out there, because essentially brokers have got access to a lot more than one, I don't know, branch manager in a branch somewhere. So uh, do uh, do have a think about that. And yeah, I'll, I'll bring you, I mean, let me know what you guys think about the in inflation bit. I'm really interested to find out what your thoughts are around inflation, where the market's going, what are we gonna you know what what should we be expecting um and i'll catch you on the next one if you've enjoyed this please always like and subscribe and i'll uh, i'll talk to you guys soon take care the content of this video does not constitute giving advice it's purely for information purposes all cases should be discussed with a professional mortgage broker as a mortgage is secured against your home or property it could be repossessed if you do not keep up mortgage payments niche advice is authorized and regulated by the financial conduct authority